Hi, this is Piyush Burgava and I have an interesting case to share with you. Let's start by looking at this rotating image. This is from a gallium 68 dorotate PET CT in a patient with metastatic neuroendocrine tumor and there is disease in the abdomen. We see several foci of increased uptake, a focus in the mid chest and a focus in the lower neck. The focus in the lower neck corresponds to this left supraclavicular lymph node which is also called a Virchow's node. Virchow's node is a left supraclavicular lymph node located at the junction of the thoracic duct and the left subclavian vein. Various malignancies such as lung cancer, head and neck, breast, esophageal, gastric, pancreatic, gynecologic and prostate cancers have a propensity to metastasize to this lymph node. Troisi is sign is the name given to left-sided supraclavicular lymphadenopathy which is highly suggestive of an abdominal malignancy. The companion case with eponymous findings named after famous people is right here. We are looking at a rotating image from a patient with an adenocarcinoma of the stomach and they have extensive metastatic disease involving the liver and there is a focus in the midline in the abdomen which corresponds to this hypermetabolic nodule at the umbilicus. This is called a sister Mary Joseph nodule and this is metastatic disease to the umbilicus. The most common primary source is an intra-abdominal adenocarcinoma such as gastric, ovarian, colonic or pancreatic cancer. Direct peritoneal spread of the tumor to the umbilicus is most commonly implicated reason for this finding and it is the only sign in clinical nuclear medicine which is named after a nurse. Another companion case is shown here where on the FDG PET CT images we see a focus of hypermetabolism corresponding to this finding in the midline nasopharynx. This finding is not very clearly seen on the CT. It's hard to say whether there is this is a cystic or a, a solid lesion but this a finding is consistent with a tornwort cyst. Tornwort cysts are common incidental benign midline nasopharyngeal mucosal cysts and on this slide we have a CT transaxial image showing a cystic lesion in the midline. These uh, cysts form due to retraction of the notochord where it contacts the endoderm of the primitive pharynx around 10th week of gestation. The cyst is lined by respiratory epithelium and accumulates fluid with variable proteinaceous content. It is usually asymptomatic and may become infected leading to halitosis which is bad breath and discharge of foul tasting fluid. A symptomatic cyst is also called thornwort disease. Rarely it may present with otitis media due to obstruction of eustachian tube. So in this video we looked at Three eponymous findings, Virchow's node, Sister Mary Joseph nodule, and a torn cyst. Thank you for watching.